Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dre, and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make what you see on the screen. So I'm gonna let this play out. We can get straight into the video. All right, bet. Let's get straight into it. So, first thing you wanna do: go to Photoshop, go to File. You wanna go New, and you just wanna do 1280 by 720. Once you do this right here, you want to go to file and open. And basically what I'm going to open, I'm going to just open my shapes. And I know I say this all the time, but I'm probably not going to cut up this video for real. So after I open this up, I hit control C. Then I go over here, hit control V. And it's just me copying and pasting it. Then I just drag it to the middle like so. Once you drag it to the middle, what you can do is um, go to hit control R. This is going to bring out your rulers. Just drag it to the side. Hit M on your keyboard. This is going to bring it to your mark U tool up here. And then you just want to drag it across. Then right click inside and select inverse. I mean, not select inverse, but you just want to hit a uh, layer view copy. Once you hit layer view copy, both of these layers going to be separated. All right, so now the layer is separated, I'm going to show you guys what to do. All right. So, what you want to do, just kind of bring it up. You can make it small a little bit too, and make it about this size. Once you make it this small, you just want to drag it out a little bit. And I'm holding shift while I drag it so I don't mess it up. And just drag it to the even. It should lock and stuff like that. If you need to know how to lock it, man, just hit me up. I'll let you know. And now you want to go to file and open. I'm going to just get the logo I'm going to be using. So, like I said, I'm probably not going to cut nothing up in this video. So, go to my random PNGs. Get this logo on real quick. Hit control C on this. Come over here. Hit control V. And basically, I'm just minimizing it. And when I do that, I'm on the move tool and stuff. And you can make it about this size right here. So I'm gonna hit Control C again. Come over here, Control V, and I'm gonna right click and create a clipping mask. And um, yeah, you just wanna make this big enough to where it's like this, basically. Once it's like this, you can just lower the opacity on it to have it kind of like this. It's not gonna be exactly the same. And you can hit Control J on this to come down here, create another clipping mask, and then bring it over to where it's like this. So now you got the logo on both sides like that. And if you just want to click this and you can flip it horizontal so it can be like that. But it's just up to you if you want to have it like that. You feel me? You can if you want to. It's up to you. Now you want to hit um, T on your keyboard. You can go over here to the text tool. You just want to type it in. I'm going to type in um, Twitter. And you want to know the font is um, this font right here. I'm putting the comment section like I always do in the description. And you just go over here um, and change it like to italic if you want to. And yeah, so get that, you just go over to your window and you gotta put on the little text thing with your properties and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm gonna put the Twitter, put that right there. Basically, I'm gonna set this color to white like you just seen me do it. And we're gonna make this smaller and I'm on the move to why I'm making it smaller. So make it smaller, put it by right there. And you wanna go back to your text tool and we're gonna type in like, save their Twitter. I think it's too wavy, something like that, let me see. Yeah, two way clan. So, and you just drag it across, and we're gonna kind of pick this color. So, yeah, now we got that color. You can hit Control J on this, then hold Shift, and just drag it over like so. And you'll know when it's even, trust me. Hold on, let me see. You'll know when it's even because it's gonna lock, and it'll tell you. Oh. Make sure this even. Yep, it's even. All right, so once it's even, you want to hit Control S. This is going to save your uh, thing or whatever. So I'm going to just save it real quick. I'm going to just put number two on that. All right. Once you save it, what we're going to do is um, we basically going to hold Control and just pick these layers, like hold Control on these both layers, hit Control E on that. Then we're going to just um, hold Control the same way, hit Control E on these layers. So now all the, like, the layers is groups and stuff like that. All right, so I'm gonna just group it like that. So now that you got all the layers, you hit Control S, you can go to Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna close this project because I already did it. But basically, you wanna go to New Composition, get all these settings. You wanna go to File, Import, and then open your um, your file like from after, I mean not After Effects, Photoshop. You wanna hold Control and pick all these. You just wanna drag it down. The top layer should be the um, socials and then like so for this right here you just want to hold control and then hit control D once you got both of them hold control okay so basically when you hold control you just like getting two layers at one time hold control get both of these layers go layer 
auto trace and then i'm gonna go over here to saber and i'm gonna drag it down because i'm gonna do it on the bottom layer first all right so i drag it down render settings you want to put transparent customized core you want to do layer mesh and then put this up here you can pick whatever i think the one i picked was on um, protocol so but yeah like i said you can pick whatever one you want i think i picked protocol though so the color i'm gonna be picking i just go to the color picker pick one of these color lights so i put up the glow intensity on this by the way and basically what we're gonna do is go to end offset we're gonna set this down and then hit u just double tap it like so and go to five seconds and we're gonna turn it all the way up and we're gonna hit u again so as you see it's already coming coming in like so and yeah if you want to come in from the other side you can just do the start offset but it that's basically how it works so we're gonna go to 10 seconds and we're gonna kick um you again to make sure it's straight because we're gonna fade it out so we're just gonna go back to this set the end offset down and hit you again like so and yeah so it come in sit on five seconds and if it ever messes up because it's happening a lot what you can do is just make sure you go back to 10 seconds and you set it to 100 percent and hit you twice like that and then it'll end up fading out so come across boom stick to 10 seconds once we get to 10 seconds it'll fade out and it'll come back in and basically what i like about this you can right click up here you can copy it you can go to this layer up here pull um effect and then saber you can right click and paste it and then both of them will come in like that and go to 10 seconds and then they'll go out at the same time and the, the whole loop can start over again so it's that simple to make it you can just go to file export add it to adobe media and code queue and you go right here and say if i just saved it in here it's that simple to save it i'm gonna name this number two and you can just click the play button to render it and once it get done rendering you can actually open it up if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like subscribe and peace out